Since we're on the subject of carboxylic acids and their reactions, let's discuss one particularly important type of application that exists in our body. So when we ingest food, we ingest the fat that is stored within the cells of that food product. Let's suppose some type of animal product. Now, the most common type of fat that we ingest is a triglyceride. And a triglyceride looks something like this. It's basically an ester molecule. So we have a three carbon backbone, and to this carbon backbone, we have these three identical groups attached, in which this N basically designates any even number. It could be 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so forth. Usually, it goes goes between, let's say, 10 to 22. Now, if we take this triglyceride and place it within the cells of our body, the cells will transform the triglyceride, the ester, into three fatty acids, which are basically these regions here. We have one, two, and three, as well as a single glycerol molecule, which is basically this carbon backbone. Now, a fatty acid is essentially a carboxylic acid, and it contains a long chain hydrocarbon and these fatty acids basically are then transformed into acetyl coenzyme A which then go into the Krebs cycle and are transformed into carbon dioxide and water as well as a certain amount of energy is obtained as a result of that process. So in this lecture, we're going to only focus on the reaction mechanism of the base catalyzed ester hydrolysis reaction. So the hydrolysis of triglyceride into three fatty acids and glycerol in a process known as saponification. So basically the production of our fatty acids from triglyceride. So in the first step, we take the base and the base reacts as a nucleophile. It attacks this carbon oxygen double bond. So it creates a bond between this oxygen and this carbon in the process displacing the pi bond, placing it onto this oxygen here. Now basically in the next step, in step number two, these lone pair of electrons can reform that pi bond between oxygen and carbon in the process, two things can take place. Either this molecule, the hydroxide, acts as a good leaving group, in which case we go back and reform the triglyceride, or if when the pi bond is reformed, this bond breaks off, then this entire molecule region breaks off, and this is basically our carboxylic acid. So in this case, we produce this carboxylic acid as well as this molecule, which contains the lone pair of electrons on this oxygen, so it contains a negative charge. Now, notice that this molecule produced in step number two is the carboxylic acid that we call the fatty acid. So this is the first fatty acid that is produced. Remember, we produce three fatty acids per one molecule of fat of triglyceride. So in step number three, we basically want to protonate this oxygen here. So we either use a water molecule or hydronium. So let's suppose we use a water molecule and the water molecule protonates this oxygen and we form this molecule that now has a protonated oxygen region here. Now we take this molecule and we react it once again in the same exact identical three steps. So in step four, our hydroxide attacks this carbon nucleophilically, displacing the pi bond and placing the negative charge on this oxygen. In step number four, the pi bond is reformed. And once again, if this is kicked off, we go back here. But if this is kicked off, if this bond breaks off, then we go on to step five and produce this intermediate that now has a negative charge on this oxygen and we also produce the second fatty acid, which basically comes from this entire molecule breaking off. So this is the second carboxylic acid, AKA our fatty acid. 
Now, in step number six, which is identical to step number three, we basically either use hydronium or water to protonate this oxygen here. So we remove the negative charge by basically protonating this oxygen and we form this molecule here. And in the next series of three steps, we repeat this step once again, except now our hydroxide attacks this carbon nucleophilically, displacing the pi bond, placing the two electrons onto this oxygen. And then this oxygen basically reforms our double bond between the oxygen carbon. And we form our third and final fatty acid, our carboxylic acid, as well as this molecule molecule here that goes on in the final step so we protonate this once again either using water or hydronium and we form this molecule which is known as the glycerol so the glycerol is formed as well as three molecules of fatty acid when one triglyceride is hydrolyzed via the reaction known as saponification. So saponification is the production of fatty acids and triglycerol from our triglyceride molecule. The tri simply means that we have three of these groups that basically go on to form our carboxylic acids, the fatty acids, and the glyceride basically means we have this three carbon backbone which transforms into this glycerol molecule here. So once these carboxylic acids, so we have one, two, and three, once three of these carboxylic fatty acids are formed, these fatty acids then are further broken down into acetyl coenzyme A, which, is, which are smaller molecules, and those are fed into the Krebs cycle. And within the Krebs cycle, they are broken down even further into carbon dioxide, water, as well as energy. So the entire purpose of taking in products into our body and using these molecules such as triglyceride and breaking them down is to basically produce energy or harvest energy, transform energy and use that energy to basically help our body function. So we can imagine that energy is stored within the bonds of these molecules and uh, the net result when we break down these molecules into these fatty acids and eventually the acetyl coenzyme A and carbon dioxide and water from the acetyl coenzyme A, the net result is basically the production of energy that we use to help our body function.